Alison Spirit Weaver and I'd like to chat a little bit about how we see things in life, how the different ways that we respond to life and how we actually see our responses and the responses of other people, the actions of others and the actions of ourselves, and how this actually reflects and changes the way that we view the world every day. We don't actually see things as they are. We see them as we are. And this is very prevalent when we come to connection. Because when you are connecting, you are very much seeing things from a very individual perspective. And this is a wonderful thing. And, but depending on your own critique inside, can also be sometimes a negative thing. So when you are, for instance, going earth walking like we do on the path of earth, we go into the woods, but we don't really see the trees. We don't see the woods. We don't stop to feel the energy, we don't walk in mindfulness, we don't smell every flower as we go by, we don't stand in a field of grass and just appreciate that that grass is whispering to us in the gentle breezes, um, talking to us about its story, connection with the earth is always there for the grass. And quite often, when this happens, when you go walking in woods like this, you really miss an awful lot of beautiful input and beautiful energy and beautiful connection in life. So, we're seeing things from the point of view of who we are. And if you are someone who is already open to their own spirituality, their own sense of connection, and you feel connected to nature already, then you will understand what I'm talking about. However, if you're not, if you take the dog for a walk, but really don't notice where you're walking, you don't look for the aspects of life around you, you just take the dog for a walk because that is a job that needs doing and you don't truly appreciate where you're taking the dog or how much the dog's enjoying themselves or how much you're enjoying yourself as you take your walk. So maybe it's time to think about opening up a little bit. Maybe it's time to see a new possibility, a new opportunity when you go walking next time, when you go out to that park or the gardens of a stately home or the woodland near to you, or even if you're walking to the bus stop or walking to your car, take a moment, take a moment and in that moment pause and if you've got roses next to you smell them what do they smell like does that aroma do anything for your energy does it lift you does it make you feel happier if you've got other flowers like lavender or lilac or anything like that that is around you have a smell of it the honeysuckle is blooming at the moment. And if you see honeysuckle out there, have a smell of that. See what it inspires in you. Other things to take notice of in that moment is what are the colours around you? Are the trees really green? Are there different colours in the trees? What are the birds singing about? Listen. 
Listen to their tune. As you walk, feel your feet connecting with the earth with each step that you take. If you're walking in woodland, take some time to just touch a tree or two and see what that energy awakens in you. It's okay to take a moment. We are never too busy to pause. And if you are sitting there telling yourself that you are too busy, then now is the time to take that pause. Now is the time to close your eyes, take a deep breath, go and stand outside. Regardless of whether you live in a flat on the 10th floor or you have a beautiful garden outside, it doesn't matter. Just go outside for a moment, take the lift downstairs and walk outside. Find a little bit of grass or a tree, lean against it, walk in it. Just feel yourself reconnecting to that lovely energy because it's reviving you. It's reviving you and it's letting you relax. Because this may be a job that you have to do, going to work in the morning for instance, or walking the dog or going to the shops. But that doesn't mean that that journey there and back can't be filled with these beautiful connections, these beautiful moments and these wonderful pauses that allow you to truly connect into your life. Don't miss out on the wonders of nature. And don't miss out on the healing that nature can offer you. So I'd like to take a moment at the end of this video now to just introduce you to a way of working that might be slightly different. It's a workshop that I've put together that takes place over two months, uh, four days, every, every two weeks we have a day where we meet up and we go for lots of walks in nature, we take lots of journeys, we have a few initiations, we meet with nature spirits and the tree dryads, we look at um, things like undoing cords and getting rid of blockages and things that might be caused within nature. And we look at the healing properties of nature and we look at the healing properties of sound and drumming within nature. We also on this workshop go through a lot of healing, a lot of mindfulness and a lot of understanding and acknowledging our own journey. And within this workshop, which is called The Path of Earth, we will explore this together in depth very deep healing and connection work to happen for you. So if you're ready to take a journey like this, then don't hesitate. Come on over to www.alisonspiritweaver.co.uk and click on the path of earth and sign up and put your deposit down today. I urge you to do this because it's such a wonderful time to connect. The doors are open in September. We start our work then and we continue our work over the next two months. Be wonderful to have you with me on the journey and if you want to know more about my work then you can sign up for my weekly inspiration newsletter. Every week I send you more of these blogs and send you more about what I'm doing and what Spirits has advice for you to do. So you can do that at the bottom of this page too. Have a wonderful week this week. 
Enjoy your connections in nature. Take time to pause. Take time to connect. And just enjoy the moment. I'm Alison Spirit Weaver. I'll see you next week.